moving pump from flotation device, be sure to first unsecure discharge hose from flotation device. Remove discharge hose from pump. Remember to pull the safety pins in order to bring the cam arms down to an unlocked position. It is not necessary but is recommended during storage of hoses that gaskets be removed from hose ends and stored on cam lock arm rings. During this process we can learn about some operational do's and don'ts. For example, you should always set up power unit on a level surface. Always check to be sure your hydraulic supply valve is open. Check battery connections. Make sure that needle valve is turned fully counterclockwise before starting engine. Be sure hydraulic hoses are set up as straight as possible to avoid kinks or tight bends in the hoses. Make sure all hydraulic hoses are clean of dirt, have the correct O-rings, and connections are tight to the pump in and power unit. Remember to use wrenches and hammers if necessary. Lift submersible pump end or flotation device by the lifting eyes only, not by the hydraulic hoses. This could cause damage to the hoses. Check fuel supply and power unit or auxiliary fuel tank. Start power unit at lowest RPM setting and allow power unit to warm up before closing needle valve to pressurize hydraulic system. Things not to do never start up or shut down power unit with needle valve in closed position. This puts extra restriction on the engine and may not allow it to start. Never disconnect or reconnect hydraulic quick couplings while system is pressurized. Never bypass any engine or hydraulic system shutdown switches Never operate system if any hydraulic leaks have developed. Remember to never mix hydraulic fluid and engine oil. Never try to service any part of the unit or change any filters while the system is running. Never start up engine if hydraulic hoses are connected to the power unit but not the pump end. Do not adjust pressure relief valve from factory preset operating hydraulic pressures. Never allow hydraulic hoses to become kinked or twisted. Do not pump corrosive or abrasive materials. Do not lift or move pump head or flotation device with hydraulic hose set. Never allow hydraulic pressure to exceed 2800 PSI. Never mix standard petroleum hydraulic fluid with biodegradable hydraulic oil. This will contaminate your hydraulic oil and make it non-biodegradable. Do not control hydraulic pressure with the needle valve. Use the throttle only. Earlier in the video we mentioned a filter located inside the hydraulic fluid reservoir. To access this filter remove these three wrench nuts and the fill port cover. The filter is located directly below this opening. During services it is much easier to change this filter when there is no fluid in the unit, but can be done in the field when necessary. The filter is inserted through this hole and threads into a threaded base on the bottom of the tank. Be sure that filter is tightened before unit is started up. Operating instructions will be posted on the side of the tank just below the return vent filter. Also for servicing purposes, a valve has been installed on the engine oil pan. During operation this valve should always be closed. That valve should be opened only during service when draining engine oil from the engine. This port is located on the primary fuel filter and is designed to bleed air out of the fuel system. You can use the hand lift pump located on this side of the engine and release this valve to let air escape from the fuel system allowing the fuel system to prime.
Here we can see the hydraulic system we've just learned about put into practical application. 